Well, there's some crazy stuff on the net these days, guys. I mean, an iPad of that size, eh? Oh. All right, guys, Bob here, and I am unboxing the wife's Christmas present. <laughs> um, told her I was going to get her one. Um, she was really sort of like excited about it, and as it got nearer the time she was getting more and more excited and she was saying you know when can you get it when can you get it and i said well it's going to be wednesday the was it the 11th i said that's when i can order it sort of thing i mean had we had an apple store near i'd have gone and got it but uh, our nearest is sort of like hour hour and a half's drive away so i ordered it and it turned up yesterday and uh, there we go now so yeah i mean your first impressions are it's big, you know, I mean, but I tell you what guys, that screen is absolutely stunning. The sound is awesome. It's, you know, because of the, all those extra speakers and everything. Now it's already all been sort of out of here. And uh, cause obviously the wife's had it out, you know, she, she wanted to let me do the unboxing first. And I said, well, no, it's, it's yours, love, get it home. So, you know, she's had it out and enjoyed it. So you might spot the odd fingerprint or something. It is already turned on. I've only added one of my fingers. Which one was it? It was my right thumb. Now, obviously, you can see pictures of the grandkids there. Um, you know, initially you think, you know, downsides, yeah, there's some big spaces there in the apps. Um, you know, stuff like that. Uh, it's, you know, but that's all software issues. It's all going to, you know, it will get sorted. You know, we know it will very responsive very quick as we knew it would be uh, the great thing for her is going to be the use of uh, these ones here and uh, i'll bring it up and talk about more anyway so yeah there it is guys i mean it's it's you know it's big um there's no getting away from that fact um but it fits into my wife's sort of criteria now many of you know my wife's disabled i mean if we put that this is this is what she's got now i mean this one's mine but it's what she's got now and that is the ipad air first generation and you can see you know that it's a hell of a difference and i mean it's almost if you put that that way and i've roughly got that screen lined up if i put that that way you can see it is almost two iPad Airs side by side so you know it's it's a big device you know and there's there's your iPad mini you know it's which is you know less than half the screen size so you know it, it is a huge device but as I've said before my wife's disabled she spends a lot of time in a bed and from that point of view she's got an overbed table and the way things are set up, because of her pain and everything, it's very difficult for her to use a laptop with a full keyboard. And she was having to use one to do basically some of her work stuff uh, for her carers. She has to do like timesheets, stuff like that. Um, and she was, she was struggling on the laptop because it's difficult for her to use a keyboard on the table and the ipad's quite a small screen from that point of view for doing that kind of work so that was why i said well you know this should be perfect for her basically so i mean if i i mean this this is where it's going to really help she uses word excel her outlook emails all that sort of thing if we open word there i mean she's got no files hidden on there at the minute because it's all it's all in the cloud and we've only just sort of set this up but if i now slide that across and you've got excel and you can go full split screen and you can drag and drop stuff from between them you know it's 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 going to be perfect for her. you know she has to then email a lot of this stuff off and what have you come on yeah there we go so you know from that point of view this is going to be a great thing because it now means that we can get rid of um, her laptop. So that's moving on. 
and her old iPad's moving on. So she's just got this one device, does everything. So, you know, she's, she's, I mean, she's absolutely over the moon with it. She really is. I mean, we got it in the gold. That was purely because her iPhone's gold. Um, she, after I'd ordered it, she was like, oh, maybe would have preferred it in the gray, but she says, I'll enjoy it in whatever color. I mean, it's only the 32 gigabyte model. I was gonna pay the bit extra. I knew she wouldn't be happy with, <laughs> with me paying the extra. So she's stuck with the 32 gig. So, I mean, at the end of the day, you buy your products based on your situation and your lifestyle. I know this video is gonna get some hate. There's a lot of people that are gonna say, I sheep and blah, blah, blah. She's already in the Apple system. A lot of the family are. Therefore, it made sense to stick with Apple rather than move to the Windows version, which, you know, by all accounts is going to be a great device. So, you know, there you go, guys. I mean, that's my take on it. You know, it's, it's gonna work for the wife, which is what it was for at the end of the day. One of the problems I've found with it so far, and I don't know if anybody out there can tell me about this. You know, I mean, obviously software's got to catch up, yeah, your app developers, all that sort of thing, you know, it's, it's going to lag behind for a little while on that. However, you know your actual um, sounds. Now, obviously, you've got four speakers on here. You've got two top, two bottom, and, of course, they change orientation to give you stereo sound, whichever orientation you've got it in. So, you know, they, they, they swap the speakers around because it knows the orientation. But... I was messing around with the sound, she said, it's, it's quiet, and she had the volume right up. And you've got the volume right up. Now, sounds when you're playing a video, absolutely fantastic, it sounds great. When you are listening to your notification sounds, they're very quiet. And I've messed on with all sorts, and I can't get them to go louder. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, maybe there's something on here that you guys can tell me about. Um, or it could be there is... Um, an inbuilt problem with the iPad Pro. Maybe just ours, maybe it's a, a worldwide thing. So uh, yeah, do let me know if you know anything about that underneath, guys. So there you go, guys. That's my take on it. Um, leave your comments underneath, you know. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Um, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video, guys. Cheers, guys. See you.